Hey guys, it's Paper Mania Heather. Um, today I have a video about Traveler's Notebooks. I'm very new to the Traveler's Notebook community. It's my first one, but I'm very happy to be a part of it. And today I wanted to do a video just to show you guys how I lay mine out and perhaps share some more details. So I hope you enjoy. So even though I've lived in Japan for about five years now, I didn't fully know or understand what a traveler's notebook was until uh, recently and that was because, you know, we've been spending a lot of time inside, I've been on YouTube a lot, and I started watching videos and really learning about how great traveler's notebooks are, uh, especially if you uh, like to customize things and make them your own or perhaps you have a short attention span like me and can't stick to a diary for a long time. So I ordered this through the Traveler's Factory website and it came in the mail a few days ago and I wanted to do an unboxing but honestly I was just so excited to get it that I sort of opened it anyways and started using it. A Traveler's Notebook is a piece of flat leather with an elastic band down the spine and that's used for putting inserts in. It also has a bookmark as well as a, an additional elastic in the back for holding everything together. So first I'm going to take everything out, all the inserts and my clips, and I'm just going to start over fresh. So one of the inserts I purchased was this zipper pouch. It has a zipper pouch on one side and a clear folder that's two-sided and it's very convenient. The next accessory is this card pouch and it actually has 12 little pouches for cards. It's really good for putting Instax photos, washi tape, business cards, and any kind of ephemera. I also got the four pack of the elastics for adding in inserts, so I'm going to use the black one today. And make sure you stretch it out really good before you use it. Next is the craft folder, and I really like this for sticking in pamphlets or magazine cutouts or just um, any pieces of stray paper that you want to protect. This is the monthly free diary. So basically it's empty and then you just write in the days and the months and that way you can start whenever you want. I also got the weekly free diary. Um, so this is the same concept. You just fill out the days and the months and it also has memo pages on the side. And then the Traveler's Notebook starter kit came with this free notebook. So I just use it for memories. This last notebook is not from the Traveler's Factory. It's just a blank grid notebook that I use for keeping um, addresses for my pen pals. So to start, we have our empty Traveler's Notebook. And then I also added the additional bookmarks because I like bookmarks. So the layout I want to go with is I want to go monthly, then weekly, then memory book. So I'm going to do monthly first and attach it to the memory book. And then I also like the craft folder around the memory book so that I can use it for uh, scrapbooking and journaling. So we're going to take the black elastic and we're going to join the first and the last notebook. If you're using the elastic from the four pack, you wanna make sure that it's flat against the pages so that it doesn't warp your notebooks. Give it a good tug and straighten it out. And then we're going to put that under the elastic in the middle. And you wanna put it under the longest elastic and kind of straighten it out. So now I'm going to add the card pouch around the memory book and the craft folder. And that's because I want to make this section in my traveler's notebook sort of uh, at hand the crafting supplies like my washi tape and my ephemera. 
and so what I did by accident was I put it under the short elastic so you really want to make sure that it goes in between the elastic and the spine of your notebook so once I put that in that sort of becomes like my crafting section of my traveler's notebook So just as an example of how wonderful these pockets are for keeping your washi samples, I actually took a old gift card and a membership card and put washi tape around it so that I can take it with me wherever I go. And it's just the perfect size for that. And it also really good for business cards. And as I mentioned earlier, Instax photos. So here's an Instax photo of me and my husband. The last book insert I want to put in is the weekly, so then that will make the layout monthly, weekly, and memory. So we're going to put that notebook in the middle elastic, and then that'll be the three notebooks set up that I wanted. Last but not least is my favorite accessory, which is the zipper pouch. And I want the zipper pouch to go around everything that's in my traveler's notebook. And that way I have a sort of dashboard in the front and then a pouch in the back. So what I'm going to do is stick that between the elastic that's holding everything together and the back of the notebook and slide that in place. Then I'm going to put in my quote of the year, which is progress, not perfection. And I'm going to put my stamps and stickers inside the back pouch. And so that way I have them easily accessible at all times. So now I'm using my three bookmarks for my three notebooks. And that's to hold the places where I'm at in each book. The last thing I want to do is take my uh, address book and use a binder clip and clip that in the back. And that's because I don't always take that with me, but now I kind of want to keep it at hand. So sometimes you need to like wiggle the books around and straighten them so that you don't have overhang. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit um, sticking out, but that's okay. I kind of like how it looks. But uh, if you just readjust things, you can sort of get them a little more flat. And that is my 2020 Traveler's Notebook layout. Uh, let me know in the comments how you like to lay out your Traveler's Notebook or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.